Good evening, everyone. Good evening. Hello, and welcome to another Friday night, the Friday night core class with Dom. So, welcome. The sun is shining, thankfully, because it's been pretty miserable recently. And uh, yeah, so hopefully, have a nice, warm, sweaty session. Start our weekends right. And uh, yeah, enjoy another quiet or very productive weekend, depending on what you're doing. So welcome to our another class. Um, again, this class has been shared out to um, the members of Movement & Co. So if you're joining us from there, welcome, good evening, um, good to have you. Um, so it's nice to see a few numbers from there. And my regulars, Welcome back, as ever. And then I believe the link for this class has also been sent on to some third party friends and family. So again, if you're joining us and you're new, welcome to the class. Uh, the uh, the um, quality of the stream is okay at the moment. And there was a few people having issues on getting it onto the stream this evening, or at least on a laptop that they were able to get through on their phones. So just seen a few people come in and drop off and a couple of messages pop up on my WhatsApp. So we'll keep an eye on it, make sure people can get into the stream. And then like I say, we'll get started shortly. People not sticking to the rules, clearly, and not sticking to the uh, lockdown. Oh. Darling, you there? Yes. <laughs> Sorry about that. That was our, uh, our dinner. It's turned up an hour and a bit early. That's a bit of a pisser, really. That's gonna have to go in the oven. And yes, there's a takeaway, it's Friday night. Hey ho. I'll be giving them a call and giving them a rollicking because we clearly ordered it in advance for 8 p.m. when this session finishes. So do you know what? Bit annoying, but that's life. Um, we've got dinner for this evening. If you're wondering, gone for a curry. Love a curry on a Friday night every now and then. So, and we've been so good throughout this lockdown. This is actually our first takeaway in the whole, what is it? Well, we've been locked down for about seven and a half, eight weeks now. And uh, we decided with a little baby, not taking any risks. So we locked ourselves in quite early doors. And this is actually our first treat. So yeah, definitely looking forward to it. And if I can smell it whilst I'm doing this class, that's gonna make it even harder. So welcome, if you're joining us for the first time, good evening, and um, a few people hopefully joining us shortly, a couple of you are having problems with the link for some reason, I'm um, not entirely certain why, but it seems to be working here and live there for a few others, so yeah, so it should be okay. We'll give people a chance to get in. We'll go through our, our session. I'll we'll run through the session program uh, as we normally do. Really simple, good strong warm up. Make sure we're nice and limber because obviously this is a core class. So um, ab centric, core centric, this is all over. Um, so we'll make sure we are thoroughly warmed up and we are then obviously stretching as well. So have a good stretch off, make sure we're flexible, we're ready to do and attack what's coming up in the session. So go through all of that together. Um, and then we've got a whole host of circuits ready to go in my diary, um, my Moleskine diary, not sponsored yet, but you know, if you want to send me some free diaries, why not? Um, so always, do you know what in today's world of technology, I like to have things written down. So yeah, Moleskine diary's got 
list of one, two, three, four, five, six circuits tonight. So quite an intense one. We might not get through all of it. We'll see how we go. And then a big stretch off together at the end before we finish the stream. Uh, if you are planning on jumping off early, um, please do make sure you stretch at the very end of the session. Don't just go and straight into your dinner. Um, I've even got my dinner already waiting, as you just heard. Um, so don't jump straight off. Do stretch. Do have a bit of a moment to cool down um, at the end of the session, that is. So we'll give it a couple more minutes, and then we'll get started. Uh, messages... Let's just check. Yeah. Um, if you are new into the stream tonight, and like I said, this, this link has been sent out to various other people who might be joining us for the first time. If you are new, please drop a quick intro into the chat and just introduce yourself briefly and, uh, and where you may have got the link from. Always nice to know who's joining us and, and how you came to us. Um, but again, I use the chat for for the, for the purpose really of whilst we're doing the sessions, if there's any issues or niggles or aches and pains, or you're not sure about something, throw a message into the chat. I will always try and come up and have a look. I am blind as a bat, so I will get nice and close as you'll just see. Well done, Mel. Now, Mel, are you on your laptop or your phone? That's the question. Uh, I'm not sure why it's been playing up for some people because it, it has been working for others. So we need to try and address that maybe for Tuesday night body weight class. Um, so yeah, so if you if you don't know and you're joining for the first time, there's two classes a week that I teach. So there's Tuesday night, which is an all out body weight session. So no weights required, nothing required other than yourself, a bit of space, a drink, sometimes a mat, um, but basically it is just an intense body weight session and it takes in so many different training principles um, to basically make sure you get the hardest workout possible. Um, it's a full hour session as is this one, um, the full warm up, um, loads of various circuits and they are varied in themselves and then we always go for a big cool down and a stretch. So, ah, oh, there we go, well done Ange, glad to see you made it. What well a Mel. Hopefully we get a few of those who, like I said, I know two of you had problems getting on with your laptops. Uh, I'm not entirely sure why, but we will look into that and have a try and figure it out. There we go. Try and figure it out. Hmm. Very bizarre, Ange. Very bizarre indeed. Um, so, like I said, just give it a couple more moments. Um, let a few more people join. Um, if you are joining us and you're new to class, welcome. Hello. Thank you for joining us. Uh, Quite an intense core class. It's a full hours class. I'll explain each circuit as we go through. And again, if you are new, um, everything is time based. Um, so the warm up is slightly different. That's just a just a quick run through. Um, but the actual circuits themselves are time based. So that then allows you to work to your ability and your strengths. So if you are start, you know new to this. I'll explain the workouts. I'll explain the slightly easier variants of said workouts so you don't hurt yourselves and injure yourselves. But most importantly, you do as many reps as you can in the time given. So you're basically, hopefully, trying to improve every time you go through the circuit. And then if you keep coming back to classes, over a period of time, you'll start to see your fitness improve, your strength improve, and you'll realize you start to do more and more reps. Okay, so that's the concept of the time-based system. So just see who, um, who else we've got coming in. So we'll just give another moment and then we'll get started. Uh, so a couple of people there. 
Um, but like I say, we will get started in just one more minute. Make sure everyone's ready. Please make sure you've got a drink, a towel if you need to, you can a towel off. Uh, if you've got hard flooring, a mat will be advisable. Um, if you haven't got a mat or your carpet, that's fine. I do most of mine on the carpet. I don't bother with a mat. Um, but yeah, just a, a drink because it will get quite warm and sweaty. Okay, so we're going to get started into our warm up. Um, three exercises in the warm up, 20 reps of each. Okay. Um, Tim, I want evidence that you're actually doing this. You've got to earn your takeaway as well. So three exercises in the warm-up. You've just got running on the spot. Pump those arms. Engage your core and keep it tight. Exercise number two is your jumping jacks. Okay, nice and simple. And then exercise number three is your knee drivers. So into your press-up position, and then you drive your knee to the opposite elbow, and it's nice and quick. Okay. I will count your reps on this. So I will control the speed that we go through for the warm up. We'll do it four times through, okay? How quick stretch and then get into our first circuit. So let's get ready. Start off the warm up. Three, two, one, running on the spot. Go. So two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Keep going. Twelve. 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Good. Jumping jacks. One, two, three, four. That's 10. Keep going. 15, 17, 18, 19, 20. Good. Down to the floor, into your knee drivers, three, two, one, and go. One, two, three, four, five, six, ten, thirteen, fifteen, nineteen, and twenty. Good. Quick breather. You get your breath back. <laughs> oh, I'd love to see you do a full class, Tim. Really would. Glad you joined us, though, even if it is for the comedy value. Okay, ready? Round two, same again. A little bit more tempo this time. Ready? Three, two, one. Off we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Good, jumping jacks, go. Keep your core tight. Five. Six. 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, good, into your knee drivers. Ready, core tight, three, two, and go. One, five, 10, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, good. Oh, open window. Nice and steady. Quick breather. Hopefully you all are okay. Quick breather. Okay. Right. Two more rounds of the warm-up to go. So can try and control that pace. Keep your core engaged. If you're not sure how to engage your core, it's not literally just tensing your abs. Okay. If you're a lady, raise your pelvic floor and then pull in, okay? For men, similar concept. So you pull from up and hold within, okay? Best way to explain it, stop yourself going to the loop. Right, round three of our warm-up. Ready, three, two, 
one, and go. Nice pace. Go. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. Good. Jumping jacks. Go. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Keep going. 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Good. Straight into your knee drivers. Ready? Off we go. Five. Nine. Ten. Keep going. Seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. Good. Right, no rest now. Straight back into your run on the spot. Three, two, one, go. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Keep going. Thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen. 20, jumping jacks, go. 9, 10, 10 more, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, good. Knee drivers, ready? Last time, 3, 2, 1, go. Seven, eight, nine, ten. Keep going. Seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. Good job. Okay. Take a breather there. Well done, Tom. Doesn't matter. You're here, and that's all that matters. Okay. Quick breather. Take a drink. Have a stretch. Okay, so, <sighs> dedication Enos, I like it, no pain, no rest for the wicked, no pain, no gain, all the usual sayings, a load of rubbish, but end of the day, good effort, you're doing it, others aren't, so that's all that matters. Right, into our stretches. So, just going to start off, okay? Like we normally do with our static hamstring stretch, we're going to turn it into a semi-dynamic. So what we do, straight leg, bent knee, and I just want you to run your hands down the back of those legs now. So where we do our dynamic hamstrings, this just hits a little bit lower down, and just gives us a two-in-one bit of flexibility. So just run your hands down, the back of your legs, more importantly, the straight leg. Okay, so all the way out as far as you can. One more. Good, change sides. So one knee bent, one leg straight. Just run your hands down the back of your legs. Good, nice and steady. So this is also going to start opening up your lower back. Okay. So even whilst you're doing your stretches, start thinking about your core and your engagement, okay? Into your dynamic hamstrings, so all the way down now. So really go down, touch the floor, and stand up. Slightly longer pause at the floor each time, keep going. Okay, so a few of these. And obviously standing up in between each one. Good. And relax there. Go into our hip flexor stretch. So if you go onto the floor, one knee forward. Okay, so just push that hip, your open hip forward. If your left, left leg is forward, twist to your left, intensify the stretch. Obviously, if your right leg is forward, twist to the right. Just hold that there, just loosen that off. Now relax there, change sides. 
So put your other foot forward now, push through your open hip, and then twist to that side, the front leg is on. Beautiful evening out there. And relax there. Okay, I'm gonna go through one more hip flexor stretch with you, because it does hit a few points that actually might help some of us. So what we're going to do is go into a wide knee stance on the floor, okay? So if you can see my knees from there, so quite spread out. And then what you want to do, you want to make sure your feet are directly behind, okay? So almost like a 90 degree angle, straight behind. Just come onto your forearms and then just push your hips back. So this is going to start pulling into your hip flexors, a little bit of lower back, and just opens that up. So just push back gently to so find the stretch, okay? Find the stretch and hold. And then once it starts to ease, just pull forward slightly so you just relax, you release the tension, and then go back, find the stretch, and see if you can push it a little bit further. So find that stretch. And forward. I'm going to do it one more time. So just come forward, release that tension, and then back into position, find your stretch, and then just push it on a little bit more again. Good, and relax there. So onto our backs now. Just going to lie flat, fully on our back, hands either side of us, bring your feet up, and just ever so slightly, just twisting our trunk. Don't go all the way down to the floor just yet. Just warm up that flexibility in the core, okay? So we're just side to side, nice and steady. Each time you go to one side, just go a little bit further. Don't You shouldn't be going to the floor just yet. Okay, so just build up to that. Keep your head flat on the floor so you're not straining your neck. Okay, so you don't need to see me for this. You're just doing a gentle fan. Your knees should be fully bent. Okay, so no straight legs. This is not a, an ex necessarily a core exercise. It's a bit of a core warm up. So slow and steady all the way. And then now start pushing it a little bit further. So you are getting close to the floor. Okay. And then and what I want you to do on one side is go all the way down to the floor. And just relax there. Just let your legs rest on the floor. Open up your back. So just loosen off your back. You should feel like pulling all the way up into your lats, into your back. Nice stretch. Then gently back to the middle. Okay, just pause. Just restructure. There we go. And out to the other side. So legs slow and steady down to the floor. And just let that stretch out. Again, keep your core engaged. And just let that stretch. Again, feel that pulling up your back. Lovely sensation. And then back to the middle and feet on the floor. Good. Okay. One more stretch on here. And then we're going to get started to our first circuit. So a static stretch here. One leg flat on the floor. What I want you to then do is take, so if your left leg is flat, I want you to take your right foot bring it over your left knee, okay? Then we take your left arm, and we to hug your right knee, and then I want you to twist behind you towards the right. So if you're hugging your right knee, you're twisting to the right. If you're hugging your left knee, twist the left. And just pull that round, and just, again, opens up your hips, your lower back. So obviously some of that flexibility, that functionality, just making sure we're nice and limber, ready for a good session. And relax there. So other leg flat now, bring that other foot over the top, flat on the floor, okay? So your foot's flat on the floor, hug your knee nice and tight, okay? And then just twist to the side, obviously, on which knee you're hugging. So you're trying to look behind you as much as you can. Good. So it goes right into the glutes, to your lower back, a bit of everything, and relax there. A couple of comments. Uh, 
Um, I'm guessing you're referring to message me after, but I'm pretty sure I'm guessing you're referring to um, the on the knees. It just could be cushioning, perhaps, but we'll, we'll have a chat afterwards, Ina, see if we can help on that one. Um, obviously, I don't want anyone getting any injuries through this. So, first circuit, okay? It's a basically a... So, your knee... Okay, I, I've got you on your hip flex stretch. I'll have a chat with you after this. I've got your number, so I'll have a chat with you. Um, there are other ways you can intensify that stretch without hurting your knee. It just could be tightness but again i'll have a chat with you make sure you're getting it right so circuit one we're going to go into a fan walk so it's a press up fan walk okay so i'm going to stand in the corner of the room so you can see me as much as possible we're going to start in the press up position okay nice and simply you're just going to fan walk your way round. so you overlap your hands as you walk all the way round. okay and you're just going to keep repeating that back and forth, back and forth. Okay, so we're going to work for 60 seconds and you have 30 seconds breather. So let me get my stopwatch. My timer, where's she gone? And 60, 30. Right, are we ready? Starting off, so nice big fan walk, okay. Starting your press up position. Four times through. Ready? Three, two, one, off we go. So you overlap your hands and you walk. So your feet stay where they are. Okay. Nice and steady. And just if you've got a wider surface or area, push yourself as hard as you can. Your feet should stay stationary throughout. Okay. So don't let your feet wander. This is about keeping your feet nice and steady. Let your core and your upper body work. So you should feel your core engaged entirely. And you should actually start to feel your actual, your abs working as you go out into the wider position. Okay, so you're slightly off balance. You're actually having to hold yourself. Make sure you're not falling over. Keeping it steady. Good, keep going. Five seconds. Well done, everyone. Keep pushing. And rest. Let's just turn it up so you guys can hear that. Right, that's one round. 30 seconds breather. Let's quickly check that comment. Yeah, I'll have a chat after Zenas. 15 seconds. Three more times through. So really, if you've got a wide space, really push yourselves, okay? Core engaged throughout. Three, two, one, off we go. So nice, steady movement. Core engaged throughout. Good. Well done, everyone. Keep going. Nice, steady pace. Don't rush this. This is about your core strength. Okay. So this is not about speed, getting reps in. This is about managing that wobble, managing your core strength so you're not falling over. Keep going. Five seconds. Come on. And rest there. That's two rounds done. Should start to feel that burning in here a little bit. Good. 30 seconds. It's a bit tough on the wrist, so give those a bit of a stretch, twist them out. Okay. If that is a bit too much, you can do it on your forearms. Obviously, you just won't go quite as far on your fan and you're a bit more restricted, but you can do that if it's starting to hurt your wrists. Ready? Three, two, one, and go. So again, this is not about pace. 
This is about, well, not about fast pace, slow, steady pace, okay? Control your core, keep it engaged throughout. Keep working, everyone, you do a good job. So watch that balance. Again, if you've got a bigger space, really push your fan, see how far you can go. Well done, everybody. Two, one, and rest. Good job, one more round to go. Again, have a quick stretch if your wrists are a bit tight, so give those a good stretch out. So roll your fists over, back and forth, and then maybe a bit of a twist around. Again, if that's too much, do it from your forearms. Same principles apply. Just make sure you've got your hips a little bit higher so you've got that movement. Ready? Two, one, and go. Last time through. Well done, everybody. Keep going. Nice and steady. Well done. Push on. Breathe, breathe, breathe. Control that breathing as well. So you're controlling the exercise itself, you're controlling your core, your breathing, lot to take in, lot to manage. Five seconds, come on, last bit. And rest there. Good. Well done, everyone. Have a quick breather. You should start to feel how burning in here. I know I can feel it. Um, so yeah, certainly feeling it in here. That's a nice, nice little burner to start off with. So quick drink, um, and then just if you keep your heads up and have a quick look and listen, we're going to a three-parter now. So 20, 20, 20, it's 20 seconds for one exercise, 20 seconds for the second exercise, and then just a 20 second breather on the rest, okay? Four times through. And what we're doing on this, we're going to be doing leg extensions and then slow single leg raises. And I'll demonstrate. So for the first 20 seconds, nice and simple, lie flat on your back, okay? If you need to, pop your hands under your glutes if you want the extra support. But in essence, what you're doing here is high, nice high knees, excuse the kicking, and then you're just pushing your hip, your heels out as far as you can. So you're leading with your heels, okay? And back in. Now I want you to keep your heels as close to the ground as you can. So you keep your heels almost like you're rubbing the floor. That's your leg extension from there. And then going to a straight leg. Now, ideally what I would like you to do is have both feet off the floor. Nice big leg up and then change, and down. So your starting point is both feet down, and then one leg comes up and down, you're alternating the leg. If that becomes too much, you can come onto your forearms, okay, and do it that way. So if your lower back's hurting, come onto your forearms. If that's again too much, just keep one foot on the floor, and then do your leg raises, and then put the other foot on the floor, and then leg raise. So to protect yourself, just use that element. So if it's too much lying flat, come onto your forearms. If that's still too much, put one foot on the floor, okay? So we're working for 20 seconds on our leg extensions, 20 seconds on our single leg raises, and then a 20 seconds breather, four times through. <laughs> Sorry, Mal, if you've got a, got a mat or anything, grab it quickly. Right, 
Let's get the next timer up. Okay, if you're ready, we'll get started. So, starting leg extensions, single leg raises, and rest. Ready? Three, two, one, off we go. So again, keeping your core engaged. Okay, so nice and tight, slow, steady pace. Again, this is not about rushing the reps. This is about pushing the form as hard as you can, okay? So heels nice and low and single leg raises, go. So you're alternating your legs. So big scissor kick effectively. Keep going. And rest there. If you need to, from this position, go straight into a lower back curl. So just bring your knees up towards you. And just hug your knees. Just roll it slightly just to ease off any tension. Get ready to start the next round. Ready? Three, two, one, and go. Leg extensions. So like I said, nice and steady. Slow, low to the ground. So low slung, so lead with your heels. Okay, and pull back in. Use your core strength to control the speed. And the movement, good. And into your leg raises, off we go. So single leg raise, and you're alternating at the bottom. And again, if that's too much, you can come onto your forearms to do this, okay? Or if you really need to, you can keep one foot on the flat on the floor. And rest there. Again, if your lower back's a bit tight, just hug your knees and just slowly roll, rock backwards and forwards, just to release any tension there. Okay, ready? Next round coming up. Two more to go. Three, two, one, and go. So nice and steady, control your breathing. Obviously control your core, have that engaged. Nice, steady roll out. So you push, leave your heels, okay? So don't see you leaving your toes, you leave your heels. Then to your single leg raises. Good, as high as you can. Don't worry about having straight, dead straight leg. The weight in your leg itself is enough to do the exercise we need. And rest there. Again, if you need to, just hug your knees. Okay, so just have a quick roll. One more round of this. Good job, everybody. Well done. Okay, five seconds. Ready? Three, two, one, and go. Leg extensions. Nice and steady. So you're starting to feel that burn. Definitely feeling it. Just right there. Nice and steady. Control your core all the way out. And leg extensions. So Nice big scissor, scissor kicks now, sorry. So nice high feet. Again, if you need to, pop your hands under your glutes. Give yourself that support if you need it. And rest there. So what I want everyone to do now, before we move on, I want everyone to just hug, hug your knees, okay? So bring your knees into your chest and just hold up there just ever so slightly just rock towards you okay so just pull your knees towards you just opening up your lower back because there is a bit of tension there i imagine for most people so just hug your knees and rock good and relax there again any queries or questions throw them into the comment box so um Um, yeah, 
So we've got a, a nice crunching sit-up session now. So we're gonna get elbow to knee sit-ups with a rest. Simple as that. Um, we need a bit of timer. So we're gonna go 45 seconds on this with a 15 second rest, okay? So what this essentially is, so you're in that sort of W sit position, okay? Hands in temples or here, and effectively what we're doing, just crunch, pause, crunch, pause. So you're almost your, your forearm, okay? Just coming up to your shin, and that's effectively what we're doing. Small movement, your core is already engaged because you're holding this position, okay? And then obviously there's that crunch element and the element of the fact your core is still having to work. Now, if this becomes a bit too much, don't worry. Put your feet down in between. So what you can do to release the tension, your feet are actually flat on the floor, so that automatically should take away a lot of tension from you. Keep your core engaged and just simply bring one foot at a time towards you. So that's a slightly easier version. If you need to, and that's still pulling on your lower back, okay? Effectively, what I want you to do then is just before you go, do one, two, and pause, and pull yourself forward, and then go again. So you're gonna build that strength up, and keep going. Four rounds of this, 45 seconds working, 15 seconds rest. Just check this comment here quickly. <laughs> oh, Q. You sure it's not your back or your elbow or your shoulder, you know, hitting the ground maybe? Sorry, inside joke, but good to see you, Q. Glad you've joined us. Um, right, crunches. Nice and steady. Again, this is not about a fast pace. This is about controlling your core, okay, and just extending as far as you can. Ready? Three, two, one, off we go. So nice and steady. So again, you extend that leg out. So it's just a small motion here. Not a big movement, but your core is engaged throughout. Okay, there's the twist. Good, nice and steady. Breathe, breathe, breathe. Well done, everyone. Keep going. Come on. Last bit. And rest. If you need to, hug your knees or sit forward and pull through the middle and relax there. Five seconds rest. Come on. Three, two, one, and off we go. So find that core. Get engaged early. That's it. And just small movements. It's not fast, it's not big brash movements, it's all controlled. Well done. Push, push, push. Keep working, 10 seconds. Come on everyone, you've got this. Feel that burn, work through it, and rest. Again, feet together, just hold those together and just pull through. So stretch your lower back, stretch your hip flexors. Hold that there. Three, two, one, and go. Nice and steady. Control your breathing. Like I said, it's not about big movements. This is small movements, all controlled in your core. Okay, Ooh, quad's going there. Well done, everybody. Push on. Keep going, keep going. Bit of quad action there. 
hip flexors going. And rest there. Okay, again, put your feet together if you want to. Have a good stretch in between. Make the most of it. Five seconds. Three, two, one, and go. And small movements, elbow to knee or, sh or to a shin if you can go all the way down. Again, if you can't, don't worry, just go to your knee. That's all it has to be. It doesn't have to be any further. It doesn't have to be big brush movements, like I say. Keep going. Oh, there goes my hip. Keep working. Three, two, and rest there. Good. Okay, so I'm conscious some of you might have felt the same sort of hip pain I did. If you did, go into a quick hip flexor stretch. Okay, so it's quite intense. Front foot forward. Okay, just pull that forward. And let that ease off. Okay, so really pull that forward, push through your open hip. When you're done there, twist the side of your front leg is on. So if your left leg's forward, twist your left. Obviously, if your right leg's forward, twist your right. If you want a good lower back stretch, again, you can sit onto your heels, your arms in front of you. If you rather, so if you've got any lower back issues, um, go into your sit there and change sides. Good, and relax there. Right, let's go into our next circuit. So, great one. Superman's Mountain Climbers Rest. This is 30, uh, should be on here, 30, 30, 15. I'm gonna change that to a 30 second breather actually, um, because it was quite intense the way I've changed the Superman's. So, what I would like to see. It's an all four Superman. So, in your bare core position, what I want to see is a arm up, foot up, so opposite side. Nice and steady, control your core. Try not to wobble. 